Social listening, it's something every brand should be doing, and today I've got the perfect tool for the job. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I share practical advice to build your brand. Social listening is something that I have talked about on this channel before. You can queue up this video to learn more. I haven't officially recommended a tool for this though, and I'm doing that today. It's called Mandala. They're sponsoring this video, and you know that I only recommend tools that I try and love, and this is a tool that I love. Mandala uses data by keywords and turns it into insights. In a very simple explanation, keywords, that's what we're talking about. Keywords are anything that you might type into Google to find information. Let's say, for example, you're hungry. You might type, best restaurants near me, which is your keyword. And then Google's job is to provide you information related to that keyword. Now, Mandala works the very same way, and I'll show you the platform up close in a moment. For starters, though, let me explain quickly the importance of keywords, which Mandala uses as fuel for your insights. Web searches are typically driven by a person's need, whether it's for information, a solution, or more and their need can be satisfied by content. So marketers, if they can figure this out, what their audience is searching for on Google, then they can also figure out how to provide content that speaks to their ideal customer, client, user, you name it. Now, Mandela can serve up those kind of insights, which is exciting, but you need to use the right keywords. So that's a very simple overview of how and why we would use keywords and social listening tools like Mandela. I highly recommend watching their tutorial They've got built-in tutorials on their platform before you dive in. Some of these concepts are a little more advanced, but they explain them really well in a fairly short amount of time. You definitely want to take a look at those. Now I'm going to skip those for this video and go right to the demo of some of my favorite features. Okay, let's take a look together. Let's get started on the projects tab on Mandala, and I'm going to move quickly because there's a lot I want to show you. First, we'll create a project and get that set up, and then I'll click onto this sample project so you can see some data populate. Because we're just just getting it set up, right? I'm gonna give my project a name. Let's say the angle here, are the keywords that I'm doing for this project is gonna be all about a cafe. I'm gonna go ahead and click save, confirm. And that project will get set up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on campaigns under that project and we'll get some campaigns set up. Now from this screen, let's go ahead and give our campaign a name. Let's say I'm gonna be focused on pet friendly cafes. That's the angle we're gonna have for this. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set a campaign mentions limit. Now 5,000, that's on the lower range. If you hover over here, you can see that you're allowed up to 100,000. Let's go in the middle at around 50,000. Obviously it's gonna be dependent on your project, but the more mentions you have in the limit, the more data you're gonna get, okay? And it's pretty straightforward to set a campaign date period. I like to go straight to always on, right? So let's say we start today and I click always on, then that campaign's gonna be constantly giving me data. Now I'll skim over these quickly, but a focus channel, for example, might be a brand hero or even a competitor, right? If you wanted to add a focus channel, you would connect one of your social media platforms here to be able to add that. I'm gonna keep going for the sake of time. Let's say, for example, you wanted to exclude your own channel from being collected in the data, you would put that here, that would make sense. If you're working in a specific language, you would go ahead and put that here, let's say English. And then here's the good stuff. This is the most important part, the campaign keywords planner. So I'm gonna go ahead and give my keyword set a name. Here you're gonna to wanna to distinguish between premium keywords and regular keywords. You probably already know what the difference is if you don't check out those tutorials that I mentioned in the back end of Mandela. They have awesome tutorials. I'm gonna go ahead here and type dog friendly cafe as a premium keyword. And you can already see Mandela at work here, giving me two sets of keyword suggestions. Now it's important to distinguish between these two. Mentions here on the left include the exact phrase, okay? Whereas mentions on the right, it's a little bit different. These are mentions that contain both words. So that means in this case, dog 
friendly cafe would appear in the phrase, but are not necessarily in the exact same order, okay? Or in the exact same way that this is written, dog friendly cafe, we're seeing that here, okay? So right away, you're starting to get some keywords. I typically, when I'm doing a search, stick with that right column, right? Where it's um, showing all three words that are mentioned, but not necessarily in the same order. So you can spend some time here. I love to see Mandela already showing those keyword suggestions. For the sake of time, I'll click Save Campaign. And your campaign is set up. Now it does take about 30 minutes for Mandela to populate data. So in the meantime, I'm gonna show you a sample project and point a few things out. I'll click onto the sample project, click Campaigns. From here, I'll click Social Analytics. And then here we're looking, as I said, at some sample data. This is related to, you'll see here in a second, related to burgers, Whopper, hamburger, okay, McDonald's. So you're seeing here some sample data related to fast food or fast food restaurants that we all know. Your campaign keywords will appear on the left. Okay, we went through the process of adding those and I love how they're visualized here in a pie chart so you can start to see which ones are being mentioned the most. Also, word clouds are another visualization of keywords that are popular and useful. Here we're seeing a word cloud and here we're also seeing it broken down by hashtag. This is very, very useful. Next, let's talk sentiment analysis. Now, when I go here and click all platforms, you'll see here a little preview okay, of sentiment. So it's giving you negative, neutral, or positive. And this gives you a general overview, which is helpful to see. But I'm actually, for this quick example, gonna go ahead and click on the sentiment uh, specific tab where we don't see neutral, but we do see negative and positive broken down. And it's really, really incredible how granular this data gets. I bet a lot of business owners don't even know that you can measure this kind of thing in this kind of specificity. I love that under positive and negative sentiment, they have it broken down under three levels. So level one, and then level two, which is more positive, level three, which is the most positive. So this page basically provides the overall sentiment of the public on social media platforms towards a particular product or service. If it's positive, it indicates that the product has done well and it's receiving the appreciation of the public. And if it's negative, well, that means mentions and conversations can be checked to bring improvement in certain areas of their service or their business or their product. Let's keep going. The next thing I wanna show you is Cosmos Trends. Now this feature is gonna give you a sense of what trends are happening on different social media platforms. Now this feature is gonna give you a sense of what trends are happening on different social media platforms. So for example, what is the most used keyword or hashtag or emoji? Uh, and then you can you know, start to incorporate these things into your content planning you know, to ideally receive some higher engagement, providing your audience with up-to-date trends and staying relevant. This basically means that you can access all of this information right from Mandela without having to leave and go to all of these separate places. For example, Google Trends, Twitter Trends, you can see right here what is trending and you can filter even by country, which I think is really super cool. Now, the final thing I wanna show you, there are lots of features as I mentioned, but this is another really important one for me to quickly highlight is the tag manager or tag management. I don't have any data in here yet, but I'm gonna show you how you can add data. But basically this will help you categorize and group mentions of similar nature, okay? For instance, if you come across mentions from multiple campaigns under the same project, which have similarity, you can group them together under the same tag and have an overall look at it once you are finished with the search. So let me show you how to add a tag. We go back to our project campaign. And we filter by keywords and hashtags again. And let's say we click top mentions and scroll down here. We have the ability to find any kind of post and add a tag right here. Let's say the tag would be celebrity, okay? I can go ahead and create that new tag. And by adding a tag, that's gonna populate data or begin to populate data under our tag manager. There you go, you can see the tag that I just add and this is the place you can manage it. Think of this, it works a little bit like a folder. Those are what I consider to be the most important features within Mandala.
So there you go. That's Mandala. The features are extensive and they are exciting. There's a lot you can do in here. I'm only skimming the surface really in this video. And the most important thing is that you hop in and give this tool a whirl for yourself. And if you're confused, reach out, right? They're there to help. They've also got a seven day free trial, which is awesome. I'm linking below so you can check that out for yourself. I've got the link down there. Go to the description right now and give that a click, queue it up, and you're going to be able to check that out. And I think you're going to like it. If you've got any lingering questions, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I'll respond to those personally. And if you enjoy this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which I work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Next, I'll share a few videos I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching. Those videos are coming up next.